What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Majora's Mask. We're gonna tell ya. Let me just say clearly for the record, if you're not doing a hundred percent, you can skip this part, even though it harms me in the algorithm. I just don't care either way. But like, this part is all side quests. But if you're doing a hundred percent, or if you're doing an all mass run, I would definitely suggest checking out this part. But anyway, so we're gonna. The other side of Woodfall, we're actually going to uh, grab a chest that's on the other side. You can do this one temple, you can do this half temple. You cannot do it all if you're doing a... Wow, I keep drowning. <laughs> drowning in poison, yeah. Look at that, it's a repeat of the last part. I forgot about this, because I pre-recorded the footage, yeah. So, uh... Yeah, we killed that asshole, but uh... That, uh, you see that chest in the background? Ooh. Ooh. That's definitely getting highlighted or short, but, uh... Anyway, so, uh, yeah, we, you see, you, you previously saw that heart, but yeah, there's a piece of heart in that chest, so we're gonna go grab it. Because we're doing a completionist run. So, this is another Dacus Egg. Dacus Eggs are actually going to massively help in the next temple, so I would say just grabbing a few of those. Not the next temple, the first temple, what am I talking about? Yeah. Uh, apparently, I didn't see that chest before I uh, recorded before, well, recording this footage, but uh, it doesn't matter because after we kill this asshole, we get none other than. piece of heart, which, uh, by the way, we're actually gonna soar back to Clock Town and do a few things. Remember how I said in the previous, the past couple of parts, there's some th things we need to do on the night of the first day? Well, these, this is what I was talking about. And this is what the Song of Soaring is for. We're gonna soar to Clock Town. So you don't have to actually travel all the way back there. Because, like, this game kind of would have sucked had there been backtrack, had there been, like, no, a lot of backtracking, if you know what I mean. Maybe anyway, we're actually, uh, I think first thing I do in this area is deposit rupees, but I could be wrong. Actually, I, I never mind. There's just an item I need to buy. We're actually going to buy a few things in this, uh, bomb shop. I suggest getting the bombs right away, even though you could easily get an upgrade in the next, uh, area, but, uh, Anyway, there's the bomb bag. We're actually gonna buy the bomb shoes as well. Or actually, no, we're not. Never mind. I'm thinking later in the recording. This Goron sells powder kegs within a shop. Like, isn't that illegal to do? <laughs> anyway, so, uh... Yeah, that's what I was thinking of with the uh, whole depositing rupees. We'll do Rupee Farm in a second, and, uh, I don't want to spoil anything, yet, but to be fair, like, this is pre-recorded, but, like, um, I don't really want to be a massive spoiler, like, we're gonna go to that, uh, one thing we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna go to the laundry pool in the night of the first day. We could do this earlier. Actually, never mind, we're doing, a. I I love it here, but I can't... I really should look at these recordings before I record the voiceover, but like, uh, yeah. I think I'd do some rupee farming right here, but, um... This video's not gonna get a good audience attention, but, uh... Anyway, so what we're going to do is, uh... I think i do rupee farm here and there, but, like, um... It was then I realized... I think I realized in, during this recording that I actually had forgotten to get a mask. Which, in normal playthroughs, I do right away, so, like, um... Yeah, um... This is, this is basically a filler video, so I'm basically treating it wherever the hell I want. It's like, you can easily skip this part if you're not doing a completionist run, but, like, um... I give you full permission, too, but anyway, so, um... I can't 
seems to get a cut a little bit, so I'll see you guys in a second. Anyway, so this is what I wanted to cut to anyway. So, note to self, look at your own recordings first. But anyway, so uh, if we actually get that straight bear from earlier and give it to the uh, great fairy, we're actually going to get none other than... We're going to get the great fairy's mouth. It's actually the first out of the ma many masks we're going to get in this game. Sorry for, I'm spoiling an over 20 year old game, but anyway, so uh, that's aside the fact, but uh, we, it's not a transformation mask, it's a mask we just wear basically to alert your fairy. So yay, we don't get pointy Nintendo 64 boobs out of this. Anyway, so yeah, in this upcoming footage is sped because I decided to rookie farm right here, and yeah, I don't know what I'm going to put over this, maybe, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway, so, just decided to get, I decided to get that out of the way, so I farmed to 200 rupees, and that was around the time, um, got 12, and you want to get to 12 a.m. on the end of the first day, and I would strongly suggest playing the inverted song of time like I am right here. Anyway, so wait till this, uh, wait till this old lady's drug. Saken, who is, uh, who's basically hiding out there, is going to try to steal that bomb bag. We have to retrieve it. It's much easier to do with the inverted song time. It allows us to buy bigger bombs, more bombs in the bomb shop. Which we're gonna do later. You can only do your bomb bag if you save this woman. We're also gonna have to do this a second time later for completionist sake. Look how slowly Seika runs. He's like, look at how slow that is because we have the inverted song at I just love this. He's just like, he's just like, uh, happily running in. Shakalaka, he tries to steal that. Anyways, this isn't that hard. So basically, we just have to, uh, we basically just have to hand with our sword and he never reclaims that bag. We just have to watch him run towards that. He's gonna run out of clock town, but like, he'll never try to reclaim- Once you hit him with your sword, he'll never try to reclaim that bag. And she's actually gonna give us the blast mask out of this, which, uh, allows us to blow up- This blows up in our face when we hit the B button, but anyway, so, uh, we're gonna do a couple more side quests. Actually, uh, I think I might have two filler videos, so I'll cut it off. So, uh, next time Majora's Mask, we'll do more side quests. I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks. Bye.